All right. Hello, hello. Skyward Sword, day five. Starting a little bit later than uh, we have been today. I may have gotten a little bit invested in a Crash 4 level. Still working on that off stream. Uh, depending on how today goes, I may see if I can try to finish the game tomorrow. And then we would do our randomizer finish stream on uh, Sunday. We'll see. Hello, Darian. Uh, my goal today is to do this temple, and hopefully we can get far enough to finish the sixth dungeon as well, whatever that might be. Hello, Apollo. I am in the sand ship. That is, that is where I, uh, left off the previous stream. I have this to do. I have to go back to the volcano, I assume. I have to find some tears and do that dungeon. I'd like to hope I have just, like, one stream left of stuff to do in the game after that. I, I know there's, like, a final... a final, final dungeon, I think, right? All right, cool dead end. I'm sure that's not important. Does this hurt the butterfly? This upsets the butterfly. You beat the game today. Good job. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't getting a little weary. Not not necessarily the game's fault, just because I'm doing it all in one huge week-long sitting. Could probably use a break from Skyward Sword soon. But it would be nice. It would be it would be nice for the playlist to like get it all done in one setting. Instead of bouncing back and forth between this and the, this and the randomizer. Which, by the way apparently has multi-world support as of today. It's not a huge, huge announcement, but I guess depends on if you're into that. Uh, we've never done a multi-world randomizer. Which is to say that's two people playing the randomizer. Not together like we do in, uh, in Mod Loader but they each have their own randomizers they're playing. And the, uh... The items for both worlds are spread across both... both worlds. So I, I could find an item for Jack, he could find an item for me in each other's world, for example. We've never done that. I don't know if Jack quite likes Zelda randomizers enough to take on a pro something like that. At the very least, if we did that, his settings would have to be a lot more uh, forgiving than mine. What are we doing? I don't have anything to let me, like, cross sand. This seems like a, a room that I'm just, I'm gonna need the, uh, a time bubble for. I don't know if I can do anything in here yet. That's also what our Archipelago is, which we failed to get working in time for the Ocarina run this past year, but uh, maybe this coming one we'll be able to get it working. Archipelago is the thing that, uh, it's, it's a multi-world program that mixes a bunch of different games together. Really bizarre games to be in a randomizer. I know I can sprint to go across sand. That sand looks too wide to do that, though. It didn't look like I was going to make it. Okay, just barely. If 
bunch of locked doors. Ow! It's gonna be sad if I die to stationary barbed wire. I don't know what games we would do. Uh, for Archipelago, I kind of wanted to get, like, Illatok. She was in the uh, Majora's Mask party stream. Because she loves Hollow Knight, and Hollow Knight is one of the games, but she, she doesn't like being on stream, so... I don't think that would happen. I don't remember if there are any Castlevania games support. There's, like, Super Metroid, Jack wanted to do Link to the Past. Minecraft is one of them, somehow. Oh, you can tap the you can tap the sprint button to get a little more distance. I didn't know that. I guess that's kind of like the uh, lens of truth. It is, it, yeah. It's it's a weird animation just having Link have his sword in front of him while he runs. I wish you could. It, this really seems like a game you should be able to run and swing. I don't know why they didn't do that after Twilight Princess. Okay. Fi informing me that this is a very special door. A lot of stuff in that room. Hello. I can't, uh... I can't, I can't, like, whip claws out of you, can I? No, the whip just kills them. Grappling hook, this is not. The grappling hook made getting monster drops so easy in Wind Waker. Belmont. This is like precursor technology. A lot of the a lot of the stuff in this game is like precursor technology. It's more like uh, it's more scientific than magical. I, I don't think this counts as a holy whip. I've never liked this mechanic. They've done this in other games. I think it was in uh, it was in Luigi's Mansion 3. Like just because you can do this doesn't mean that it's fun to do this. It's just kind of tedious to to like blow away a whole room of sand. You know, you know what? I take that back. Luigi's Mansion 3 did a, a lot better because you could uh I think there were points you had to make slopes out of the sand and use it to, like, walk around and things. This is just kind of like a shittier version of Minesweeper. It's like Mario Sunshine. It is like Mario Sunshine with the, with the water. Alright, so these are going to be used for some kind of, some kind of puzzle. Uh, don't know which order to hit them in. I'm sure there's a place that I need to go in this ship to find out. I was going to brute force it, but that, that's going to take even longer. Alright, I'll keep looking around.
Is it related to the chests? No, there's five chests. Does the door say anything? Uh, no, it's just it's just the bot the boss door, and it's locked by a time barbed wire. Very technologically advanced time barbed wire. So I will have to fight the boss in the past. It looks like. Once again, not going to question how Link is perfectly fine traveling between both eras. But uh, nothing else can leave the bubble. It's like a it's like a specific JoJo stand. You just don't think about it too much. Uh get the get the blowing. Time to blow. Surely this does something. That open the door? No? That didn't appear to do anything. How about this? Is this too big? I think that's too big. All right, I know what you want me to do. Unless, is that a is that a bullseye or is that a, a hook shot target? They, no, I I wouldn't like. I wouldn't be able to like hook shot through the thing. Yes, pet shop is like apparently super broken in the uh, PS One Dreamcast arcade JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fighting game. Have you ever used a uh, Fightcade, Darian? It's like a, it, it's like some kind of online emulation thing where you can play arcade fighting games online with people. I'm not sure what it wants me to do with this. Clearly there's a target in there. Also, clearly, there's th this thing responds to wind. But it didn't seem to do anything when I blew it. Hold on. Ah, this sand is immune to blowing. It's not that gate over there. That didn't open, did it? Surely this can't be just decorative. No, that doesn't do anything over there. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! This feels like a mechanism that would, like, make these gates open, but it's not. missing something. Can you shoot it now? It didn't look like it's any different than it was in the last state it was in. Wait, it went through. Why did it go through?
I, I'm hitting it, right? No, so this can't be it. I don't know how I'm hitting it, but I am hitting it. I don't see anything else inside the room that I could interact with. That's too, that's too big. That's not going through. Am I going to finally get bow and arrows in this dungeon? Is this the place? I am going to die to that barbed wire eventually. I'm just going to run into it and just collapse. Yeah, all these things respawn. Be gone, bugs. Get off the wall! Ah, why are they so strong? Drop hearts. Someone drop a heart. Hearts are really scarce in this game compared to previous Zelda games. Used to be you could get them just so easily. But I appreciate that they're trying to make, like, potions and things more, like, useful. Because previously they just kind of weren't worth it. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to fly back to Skyloft. I don't, I don't want to go buy potions. Also, I only have two bottles. What's in my bottles? Revitalizing potion. I'll keep I'll keep it in mind just in case. I was watching some uh, Comic-Con 2011 footage of this game. And uh the Hylian shield was in it, like the the Ocarina of Time shield. I wonder if that was just a, a beta asset or if it is in the final game in some way. My best lead is that spinning fan in this room. Which... This room clearly wants me to do, like, the... The floor things in a certain order, but I don't know what order that could be. I don't see any obvious clues as to... Also, I gotta do this again because I left the room. Like, left to right, like, reading order. Be left, down. Left, down, left, right. No, that's not it. Oh, it is in this game. Okay. And it's indestructible. That's just lovely. Is it immune to... Is it like the, the Divine Shield? Is it immune to electricity? Because it's, it's made of metal, so I, I wouldn't think it would be. Oh, 
I'm seeing if I don't know there's like a, a little... Maybe I didn't clear enough of the sand. Maybe there's a little tiny hint thing that I didn't see or something. I don't know. It's similar to the giant statue temple, except I just, I don't know what order to hit these things in. And I don't know where I could find a hint to do, to find that order. something to do with the... Okay. I get it. It's a little tricky. The The number of red things on the outside, I, guess, I think, is the order they're in. So one, two, left, right, left, down. No? Okay. Hold on, but it's relative to the, the red part is the top, according to these. I'm getting there. Okay, so... Down, up, down, right. This is it. It's gotta be. Yeah. I'm smart. That strikes me as something that a lot of people just went to the internet to look up. Alright, small key. Did we see a small key door earlier? I like to think uh, Girahim and his minions are just doing their best to uh, makeshiftedly keep us from getting to these things. All they had time to do in the Earth Temple was slap a lock on a door that we'd previously unlocked. And then they came to the sand ship and they just covered it in barbed wire and said, That's good. That'll stop him. Is that what autosave is? I just, it, it showed like a little saving icon when I walked near the statue. Alright, small key, small key. Oh yeah, you're right, tapping makes it way better. Y'all got any locked doors? You know what? I felt like these were kind of oversold in importance, but at the same time, I could actually use a heart refill, so I'll draw I'll draw the orange slice.
This is what Link will do after he saves the world. This Link just goes on to become like a, an inscriptor. Oh, only three? Does it matter how well I do it? There it is. If you draw a heart, it gives you eight hearts. Well, I, I drew, like... I drew the same things last times, and it gave me eight hearts. Robot, it's Pirate Robot. Skeleton pirate robot. Hello. Uh, what are we doing, friend? LD002S Scarabo. This mutinous robot sold the ship from Skipper long ago. He still commands the ship today. Fighting in a narrow space like this, it's more effective to use thrust attacks. Nah. I just need vertical slices, that's all I need. Oh, it's like it's like jousting, that's what they're going for. Or like a tug of war. I gotta make the robot pirate walk the plank. Get out of here. Oh no, he knows my weakness. He knows about barbed wire. Is this the guy that's put all this stuff down? in peace, Dink. I just assumed on the walls that you had to draw the symbol that was there previously. So, so what kinds of things can you draw then? Sit on a stool. Oh, sitting restores health? I didn't know that. A heart, a rupee, and an arrow. I see. That's kind of like the uh, three. There are three amiibos you can use to get supplies in Twilight Princess. Link Ruby, the Link Amiibo gives you arrows. The Zelda Amiibo gives you hearts. I think the Wolf, Wolf Link Amiibo gives you rupees. I don't remember if there's a rupees Amiibo. The uh, Ganondorf one makes you take double damage, so uh, that one's less useful. His sword looks like giant screwdrivers. Yes, that is probably because he's a robot. That's probably a thematic choice. Uh, it didn't work. I think I, well, I, I guarded, I guess. I, 
don't fully understand when he's when he's uh, vulnerable. Okay, so that, that attack is just like two strikes. I managed to uh, shield twice the last time. I don't know why I couldn't that time. Dark Souls in a nutshell. Okay, well now, you know, in Dark Souls you got you got room to move around. Dark Souls in a narrow hallway is a little different. Also, my shield is like doing bad, so. Uh, oh, you know what? I can just I can just kind of like stand around and it'll it'll get better. So how are you? I like how he's got robot dreadlocks. I think Jack would like this chapter a lot just for the the premise of having robots in a Zelda game. This feels like as good a time as any to tell the legend of Pirate Robot. The, uh, precursor technology robot in Dragon Ball. It was a robot that just happened to be, like, underground in an old pirate base. It looked pretty piratey. In fact, actually, it looked more like a xenomorph. But, uh, I guess Funimation wasn't sure that it looked piratey enough. Because while in the original Japanese this robot was totally silent, they felt the need to dub over it every time it was on screen with robotic pirate sayings. Every now and again it would just appear and it would say things like, Shiver me timbers. Just so you really know that it's a pirate robot. Get out of here. Can't help but admire the tenacity it has displayed in staying alive and functional all these years. That is impressive. I don't know why it's done this. They can't sail the desert. There we go. Arrows do a lot more damage than Deku seeds. I knew we'd get it eventually. I also had a hunch because I saw that was in the uh, that was in the E3 demo. Your bow's elasticity can propel arrows through the air with great force, allowing you to strike your targets from afar. You can also shoot arrows to strike certain devices in order to activate them. Ancient arrow technology. Talking about precursor tech with, like, still functioning robots. But the switches on their ship are activated with the use of a bow and arrow. I 
I think Jack didn't mind the motion controls in Mario Galaxy. He still liked the game a lot. I think he would like this game if he were able to play just like the Wii version. Or even the Switch version with like Joy-Cons that weren't broken. Mine are broken. I know there was the thing on the deck, but there was also the thing down here. I get- they showed me the deck. I guess I should do the deck thing first, because they want either way to show me that. I have a dolphin bar. Jack doesn't. I also don't think he has Wiimotes, so... I don't know if he'll play this game anytime soon. Look! There's finally a reticle. Are we gonna are we gonna drive the pirate ship? Are we gonna be able to sail it? I wanna sail a pirate ship through the desert. Imagine this is how the sand pirates in One Piece got around. They didn't actually sail a boat through the sand, they had to <laughs> They had a time crystal that turned the desert around them into sea. They just kind of never showed up again. I mean, granted, a lot of stuff in One Piece never shows up again, but... Was that, was that a filler thing? The Sand Pirates? I don't remember. They might, they might have just been like a filler episode that had not, that weren't in the manga or anything. Uh... Oh good, these ones aren't electric. We've gone from fighting zombie Bokoblins to pirate Bokoblins. What is this? This is a escape boat. Does it do anything? I, I imagine it's not decorative, but uh, I don't know if we can do anything with it yet. Oh, wait. Maybe I should have stood on it first. Oh. Oh, let me in. Is this not a door? I guess not. Okay. Well, can I go over there? Oops! I don't think I can go over there. I don't think that's intended. Well, the boat's down there now. I feel like I should be able to hookshot into more places around here. Also, the doors don't work anymore. How come, how come I suddenly can't go inside? Do I have to get all the enemies? Or can I just not go inside while it's in the past like this?
Oh, I can just climb up this. They don't usually expect you to snipe to snipe like this in Zelda games. They're probably doing it now that you like have an a aiming reticle for this bow. It also doesn't seem to be perfectly accurate. Yeah, there's some there's some like RNG to it. Gotta have realism. Can I improve mastery? Can I make my arrows more accurate? No? Screw me? Well, I may- I would've liked to go up there. I guess I'm not going to. Uh, hold on. Am I stuck? I don't have any arrows to hit the target I need to hit. There we go. I hope those respawn, because I can't I go back inside the ship either. Nor can I go down here. Can I zoom in? No, I just I just have to keep firing until it's accurate enough to hit. There it goes. That still didn't look like a hit. Accuracy kind of hurts it a little bit. I don't know if that was a good choice in the name of realism. Is that an option in Dark Souls? Can you be like an archer? I only ever like hear about people being uh, like melee weapons users or mages. Oh, the captain came back came back on. All right. Pirate captain afraid of danger. He's also just, like, wiggling a little bit without me, uh, like, moving anything. I he's just, like, doing different animations, and that's affecting the aim. Oh. 
Is that all that's up here? Just some barrels? That was a fairy. Uh, I could use that. Scoop. Side, past version. Once again, kind of eastern looking interior. I guess it's just doing something different for Zelda. Actually, they've been doing that more with Nintendo games lately. Just deciding to have, uh... I feel like they, they didn't feel like they could get away with having Japanese stuff in a lot of these games in the, like, 80s and 90s. Because obviously, Americans wouldn't get it, obviously. And, uh, now that time has passed, they're, they're starting to put more Japanese things, like, uh, Bowser's Samurai Castle in uh, Mario Odyssey. Ganondorf, now looking like a samurai in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Pokemon no longer having donuts. Okay, granted, that wasn't a, a Nintendo decision, but that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Going in the wall a little bit, Mr. Bokoblin. Uh. Is there an arrow switch in that room? locked. This is where the fan is. Except it's working now, so I don't know if I can, uh... I don't think this is gonna work while the fan's running. We have portholes. We have porthole technology. <laughs> so why do people like this dungeon so much? Is it just the... like the aesthetic? The, the, just how unique it is. Huh. 
It doesn't seem to use the time stuff too much compared to the previous dungeons that used it. Like, this certainly isn't as complicated so far as the, uh... What was it, the mines? Is there nothing down here? Must be something down here. I see a Bokoblin. See. Oh, this is under the grates that were under the floor of the other room that we were in. I need to crawl through something in order to uh, get to that. To then open this door. So I, I guess maybe this is a... Uh... Maybe I can't do anything from this direction yet? Seems like a strange series to room of rooms to have on your ship. Leading out to a balcony from a porthole. Going to a ladder to another porthole. Is, is that a switch? No, that's just a more realistic porthole. There seem to be a couple rooms that have things that I could do. Were it, uh... If I were to flip the time crystal. boss door. Conveniently with a skull-shaped key. This was the room with the... This was the room on top of the vents. On the top of the grates. What can I do in here? I've already been in this room. What was in this room? Just the chest? And just the chest. Hello. Yes, I'm a human. Have you met one before? Came with the captain to save us. I'm so happy! We can't get out of here while that sparky thing blocks the exit. What if I picked up and carried their remains in the future out here and then used the time bubble to go back to the pet? Now that's stupid. So that's the engine room. Get through the engine room to here, you need to activate the two power generators. Okay. I can I can do that, maybe. Sounds easy enough. You know, an electric barrier seems like it would be relatively easily dis easily dissipated with a little insulation. Can I just get, like, a wooden crate? Wouldn't that stop it? I don't know. I don't understand precursor technology. I'm just a vaguely elf-like person.
Well, this seems like a good time to uh, flip the switch again. See what we can now do in the uh, in the present with the bow and arrow. You know, in a manner of speaking, I just killed everyone on the ship by hitting that. I kind of like the localized time stone stuff more than I do this, uh, you know, changing the whole ship at one time or not. It's fine. It just it feels a little less creative in terms of like puzzles. All right. Can we do anything here now? No, because this is still this is barbed off. So we must have to do something with this in the in the past. Here's where we can use the bow and arrow. That's open. Which, logically, it still shouldn't be in the past, but I'll bet it will be now. I thought I had to get the block onto this. I don't. I can't wait for Jack to learn this game has a reticle. And then to see that it has an inaccurate reticle. The monkey's paw curls once. Okay, maybe I need to... Oh, that's what it is. I just need to charge up. I've just been tapping the button like in every other Zelda game. Oh, no, I don't have any arrows now. I figured it out just in time to have no ammunition. Uh... Y'all got any arrows? Arrows. Surely this has arrows. Yes, it does. Having puzzles tied to a finite resource can be a little problematic. It even zooms in a little bit when you charge. This feels a little bit like the, uh, the sunken ship in uh, Rube Pokemon Ruby Sapphire. It's not quite that. It's a little more complicated than that, but just the fact that we're, like, solving cross-room puzzles on a ship. Okay, now that this is open to activate in the past, that's one of the two generators. And then the other one is on this side, which we still can't access. That's barbed off. Uh... Is 
there anything else we can do with the bow and arrow now that we're in the in the present? Like the fan was the main thing. Nope. Not worth it. Not bothering. Stupid bugs. I think we already did all that we would be able to do down here in the brig. Unless there's something we can hit through these bars. No, they're barbed off. Okay, but logically, that, that plan should work. Like, why can't I just, like, pick up the remains and move them and then reactivate them in the past? Does it not work like that? I could just carry them outside of the cell. Don't know how to get in there yet. Infestation. another dungeon track that is, uh... It's more than ambience. But it doesn't ha also doesn't have a lot going on musically. <laughs> Forest Temple had a good uh, musical theme. Like, it wasn't just ambience, but it was very memorable. I don't know that we're ever going to get a better dungeon theme than uh, Stone Tower, though. Alright, well, back to the past. What are we doing calling the Super NES, NES game Link to the Past? This has more to do with uh, with that. Hell, Ocarina has more to do with that. What is that? Is that anything? No, it's just a hole. This is where they have cockfights. They just have a weird, like, uh, a, a, an arena in the middle of the ship. I like how there's a, uh, there's a command from go outside. Is that the only way to leave the ship? I just, I assumed that we could just jump off. I guess maybe we can't. I haven't tried yet. Alright, now will activating this first engine do anything to help me get to the second one? to be a path in that room now. The corridor to the brig will not be passable until you activate the other power generator. Well, I'd like to, but uh, that, that door's locked, and I don't know how to open it. Do you have any advice, Fi? No, I didn't think you did. What's in here again? 
This is the porthole room. I don't see anything obvious I can do in that room. Uh, there's the... There's a way down from above. That could mean something. I wonder where that goes. If that's uh, if that's accessible in the uh, in the present day. I don't. I still assume that I can't do anything down here because it said I need both uh, both generators before I can go this way. Yeah, this side's not moving yet. Another reason I'm not too crazy about Zelda dungeons. I don't have a lot to talk about while I'm in here. <laughs> I'm just kind of walking around and solving puzzles. When I'm out going around the overworld, like meeting NPCs and going to new areas, there's usually something to talk, something to talk about, something to react to. At least we got the robot pirate skeleton. That was that was cool. I liked him. All right, so this room has a thing above it, and it's like a circular opening. Does this opening mean anything? Can't can't do anything with this, can we? But uh, if either of these openings were. If, if we can get through these in the present day, those would both lead to things. There must be a way to do that. Where are they? This is one. And then there's a circular one somewhere. Wait, can I actually pick up their arrows? I can. Well, that's nice. Is that the... That's the circular one. Okay. So I, I see the two access points. Genocide. Pile of bones at my feet. That's how you defeat a Bokoblin. This is a dumb idea. Ah, man. I really thought that would work somehow. If I had a way to get down there, I would be able to, like, get to things. But I can't. I also can't- I can't climb the crow's nest, because there's barbed wire everywhere. do anything in the past? Sorry, the present? It 
it seems like the obvious solution to go down there somehow. In those two, like, sky openings. They, they seem like they're really being highlighted in the, in the past version of these maps. But there doesn't seem to be any way to, like, go down there, so I don't... Maybe they're just decorative. Like, if I could go down there, I'd just be able to walk through to the ch to the chest. That seems like the thing that it would want me to do, because there's, like, an electric barrier in the present that keeps me from doing that. In the past. I get them mixed up because I keep thinking that the, the technologically advanced version of this map is, is the... It's the later one. <laughs> Through that door is the, the square opening. How do I get there? The porthole, maybe? From outside? That was a mistake. I'm gonna run out. Alright, one more time, Dink. You can do this. It's not just, like, the precursor technology. Like, did... This feels like the most technologically advanced version of Zelda, despite being the one that takes place the furthest in the past. Why is there so many electric life forms? Ocarina of Time didn't have electric keys. Okay. Uh. That's... That's where the portholes are. If I could get down there in this era, but I can't. So that's another lead that doesn't seem to amount to anything. And there's no, like, present-day arrow targets that I could hit. Or things that I can hookshot onto. Can't hookshot ladders, can I? No, that'd be too easy. Every time I think I have a solution, it just, it's not. Wait. Well, no, that's, that's not helpful, is it? I can hit that and I can maybe send the boat up, but that won't help me. Okay, like, the boat's up, now what? Because I can't get up there. There's not a way to get up there from inside, was there? Whoops. I don't think I wanted to do that. No. Wait, I want to go back. Let me board the sand ship. The fact that that switch still works seems like a sign that I should be able to, to use that boat. But I don't know how. Wait. Oh, I'm dumb. I just, I, I just figured it out. Use your arrows. Yeah, I was just, I, I'm just being dumb. This game is really good at making me feel that way about myself. I've never felt like I was bad at solving Zelda puzzles until this game.
Reason number five, I don't like Zelda dungeons. It must be so infuriating when you know exactly what to do and you have to watch me just like flail like an idiot. I can hit that time stone from different places on the ship. I don't need to be on the lower deck. Oh, that took too long to figure out. All right, now we can access the second thing. Uh, in theory. Yeah, we just need to pull the switch. Which will miraculously now be open in the ancient past. Again, don't think about it too much. Your electricity is no match for my sword! That didn't work. I really thought the fact that the, like, the lights from above shone so brightly on this room. Like, that there was a, a clear view up to the deck above. I was so sure that had to be, like, part of the puzzle. No, it wasn't. It was just a Chekhov's gun. No, not Chekhov's, Chekhov's. I know what I said. like these guys. <laughs> these are annoying enemies for Link to fight. Electric enemies in general kind of suck in this game. They are the most, like, stop and wait for an opening Nintendo enemies. Alright, now that those are both active, why did I leave through? I need to go back to this room. This is the porthole path. Now you're thinking with portholes. This seems safe. What's the boss of this area gonna be? We already fought the, the pirate captain. Also, what era is it gonna be in? I guess we fought the pirate captain in the in the future. What if we fight his past version now? What if we have to fight both? Yeah. 
That's a... Uh... Hold up. I think I know where that ladder goes. Get up there. Oh, Dink, I know you can get up there. I just find I need to find a good swing angle, that's all. That's not it. Ah! All right, maybe not. That definitely goes up to the room with the four chests, though. I don't know if there's like another way to do it or if I just I need to get like a really finicky angle to get up there. Again. I don't love the rope swinging physics in this game. They're little balls. They're a little not good. Which is incidentally my favorite member of Bad Bad Not Good. Having full control of your direction in the vents definitely makes this feel very Metal Gear. Hey. Yep. I came to save you. Came on board to find Nehru's flame. If you want to reveal Nehru's flame, you're going to have to regain control of this ship. Fooeep. The control room is next to the brig, but its huge door is sealed shut, and you'll need a key to open it. Okay, we gotta go to the captain's cabin. There's only two, uh, two small key doors on the ship, if I remember correctly. Just all the robots are gonna crawl through the, through the vent, hop out the porthole. They'll go exactly the way I came. They're going to have to parkour through the, uh... Through the engine room stuff. Which I guess I'm going to have to as well, because there's no way for me to, like, get get out quickly from here. Well, no, there was... Never mind, there was the, uh... I pulled, like, the quick exit lever. This took longer than I hoped it would. We, uh, we, we spent a long time on this ship. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's how you climb ladders. Alright, Captain's Quarters. We have another mini boss. Also, this is the captain's quarters. It's a weird shape for captain's quarters. All right, what can we do in here? Nothing. We're gonna have to. Uh... We have to go to the present again. Thankfully, I've been now made aware that I can just I can do that without going to the bottom of the ship. Just a few genocides. Not too many. I have an idea of what they want me to do, and I don't like it. Can I see the room from up here, though? No, I can't, because they're not actually the same map. I can't even, like, walk up on top of those. Okay, maybe I don't know what they want me to do. So I need to get rid of that Beemos while it's alive in the past in order to have the way clear in the present. Is there a vantage point from which I can hit the Beemos? Maybe. Don't stop wiggling, Link. Stay put. Alright, Beemos gone. That was easier than I thought it would be. I thought that was going to be like a whole puzzle and a chore. This is a little tedious, having to constantly go back out to the, like, main area of the ship. 
to change the time period. It's a cool idea for a dungeon. I don't think it's quite as fun to solve puzzles in this one as the uh, previous ones. This is open. Uh... What do I need to do? I need to come to this room when the Beemos are alive and kill them all to open the door. Even though they're all clearly dead, but the door's not open. Watched probably the uh, single most bizarre episode of Urusei Yatsura yesterday. Which is saying a lot for that show. It makes me wish that I could, like, uh. Oh, I gotta I got do it through the gate. It makes me wish that I could, like, uh, show people an anime episode with no subtitles and have them try to figure out what, what was going on in the episode. Every now and again, there's just like a weird anime with a weird episode like that. Unfortunately, we can't really do that because, you know, people on anime companies on, on YouTube are very, like, uh, stingy. So. It amounts to but wishful thinking. Well, that takes care of, like, one of the Beemos. What am I going to do about the other two? Uh... Is there something I missed? Was there, like, a switch to open the door that I didn't see? I can't, like, uh... There wasn't a place that I could beetle through there, was there? Ow. Beetle for Hyrule Warriors. And, uh, his weapon can be the beetle. If they kept going, I feel like he could, he would have been a character. He's just recurrent enough. I know I don't know that I necessarily want a playable beetle. It would be quite silly though. Okay, so there's two more Beemos in this room. I don't see any, like, switches that I can use to open this door. So the question is, how can I get rid of- I assume I need to get rid of these Beemos. I assume that's the goal to getting in here, but... This doesn't work, does it? No? Logically, they should be easier to destroy now that they're, like, non-resistant, non-functional.
Well, that didn't work. There's these two fans here that, again, seem conspicuous, but they don't actually connect to the above, so they can't be useful for anything. I can see this guy from the grate, but he won't face it, so that doesn't help me. Uh... No? I can't, like, see the crystal switch from down in here, can I? Oh my god, I can. Oh, that's like some Portal 2 shit. That's like shooting the moon. No one looks up in video games. Stop trying to make me. Oh, they're not just lasers, they're electric lasers. Well, it's taking a while, but at least I can say that I figured most everything out in this game myself eventually. Like, there was one thing I had to look up last stream, I don't remember what it was. Alright, the squid carving. At long last, we can go fight the boss and end this. Oh, I can't wait for the, la the next dungeon to be even longer. I'm assuming it's going to be volcano-themed. We already kind of had a lava dungeon, because we had the... I think it was the mines was dungeon 2. optional boss rush includes or where that's located how, how much of a hassle that is to uh, to find being able to get an unbreakable shield does sound pretty cool that that's uh, like that's a good reward I like rewards like that in video games or I used to have to deal with things that would break and now I don't that's awesome Breath of the Wild should have that. As I understand, like, the only unbreaking thing in that game is, like, the Master Sword, which isn't even the best weapon, so it's not always the... It's like not, not like the end-all, be-all. You get this, and you don't have to get any more weapons ever. Which also, I assume it's, it's story-mandated, so, uh... Kind of makes it feel like less, uh, less of an accomplishment to have, to have found. Hyrule Warriors also has the Master Sword, and it, uh... Kind of makes it feel, like, not worth getting Link's other swords. Final boss of the sand ship. We are fighting it in the past. I, I guess I already knew that. It's the Kraken. Wow, 
Well, that didn't work. Okay. Now what? Hello, Shy. I guess I, I... Do I bomb it out? I'll try that, I guess. Bombs away. That didn't work. Oh, okay. I see. I just have to enter the room for it to appear, and now the whole pirate ship is the boss arena. That's pretty cool. I like that. A report. This thing is fucking huge. Thank you, Fi. You always know just what to say. Recommend forcing it back with a sacred power. You mean... This? Get to Gatensho. Hello again, Apollo. You've arrived just in time for Donkey Kong. The music's not helping. I appreciate what they're going for with this boss fight. Like, this is cool. This is really cool. I would love to have a music track that is more than just, like, two bars playing over and over again, though. That'd make this a little bit better. I upgraded, upgraded my bow to the max when I got it. It seems like a good thing to upgrade. I, I especially would like to have more arrow capacity. Did you get the, uh, did you get the Hylian shield Darren was talking about earlier? I sense an evil presence. Okay, thanks, Fi. Yeah, you're right. We should just stay in here. That's a great suggestion. Dumb sword. Got the Hylian shield. I am kind of interested, but I'm, I'm more interested in like getting through this quickly, so I, I don't think I'm going to worry about it. The divine shield al already seems like it uh, is really good. Hello. The boss of this dungeon is Monsters Inc. It just looks like one of the nerdy dudes from Monsters, Inc. I'm supposed to be scared of this? Got that uh, sweet self-repairing wood. No, it's not Mike Wazowski. There, was, there, were like, there were like bit monsters that looked a lot like this. Uh, Illitox and Elf have a Sully Pog emote in their server. And Elf did not know until recently that that face is from when uh, when Sully thinks a small child has been brutally murdered. Which itself makes the emote way more funny. Okay, so this isn't working. I'll try that new item I got. Yeah. How come this is enough to, to cleave these ones? I had to use, like, my my ultimate sword strike inside. It does. It does kind of look like Celia. This is, this is Mike's mother-in-law.
Hello. Uh, show me your big, dumb Nintendo eye so I can shoot you in the big, dumb Nintendo eye. We know that's where this is going. Yep. Why would it be anything else? Link is kind of mean. Link doesn't fight above the belt. Remember the Skyward Strike? I tried that. It didn't work. I wonder if I even need to be charged. Yeah, I do. No, not the... I'm not gonna blow the Kraken. Put those away. Oh, I, I can use the Skyward Strike. Well, I, I, arrows seem to work just fine, and those are, like, easier, so... I'm cool with this. Put your head down. This does not look like a Zelda enemy. Alright, I'll try to hit it once with the Skyward. Well, that didn't work. Nope. Nothing. The music feels really out of place. You think so? It sounds like boss music, I guess. It's not the best boss mu music I've ever heard, but I did, it seems fitting enough. You know what would be really fitting for this boss is, uh, like the, uh, the, the fat, the fat guy tuba trope. Yo, stop moving! I can't, I can't dodge while aiming, I move too slow. I can do a horizontal, uh, slice? I thought I could only do it vertically. I didn't know that. Okay, here we go. Here's the smaller platform. I have to get the high ground. Well, rest in peace, the sand ship. I guess I'm not coming back to this dungeon. Yep. Roar all you want. You're still not scary. Terrifying. Utterly terrifying. I feel like I'm bullying this poor creature. And it has Medusa hair, because why wouldn't it? Go away, please. No. Uh-oh! Okay, I'll stay back and do it. Nah! Ah! Alright, I'll run away! Should have attacked it head on. 
Why would I ever try anything else? No, let me away from the, the ledge. I need to get away from the ledge. was the derpiest leviathan I have ever seen. Also looks nothing like a leviathan. Leviathan is supposed to be like, snake-like. Was it called a leviathan? I, maybe I wasn't paying full attention. boss was a trooper for taking a sword to the eye that many times. That's every Zelda boss. Every Zelda boss knows how to take a sword to the eye. Oh, I guess I can do it sideways. It was a Leviathan. Okay. <laughs> it was a shitty Leviathan. This whole quest is just a journey to get to make Fi hotter. Do you get it? You see what I did there? Are you a fan of Cass? I have not played Breath of the Wild yet. I am uh, going through the Zelda games in sequence. Uh, we just recently finished Twilight Princess for the first time. Because uh, before that, the farthest I'd played was Wind Waker. So, I'm playing through this game, and then me and Jack together are going to start streaming Breath of the Wild, which I will be blind to. I'm relatively blind. I know Cass is a character, it's hard to avoid some things. We're, we're we're building the Triforce. We're we're gonna have the whole damn thing. I was gonna say because Ganondorf doesn't exist yet. We can't have like the Triforce of Power separate. Yes, you you are welcome for getting your weird robot pirate ship back. You're still going to die. Let let, let it be known. Senescence claims all souls, even robot souls. As soon as I leave, this entire area will turn to dust and desert. Here's a question. This is like a time bubble. This thing exists in the past. If it looks off into the distance like where we're looking right now, it doesn't see the bubble, right? It doesn't see the desert. Through this robot's eyes, this is all sea. That's kind of trippy when you think about it. Alright. Well, let's go home, I guess. Which games Link is your favorite? Link never really has a ton of personality. But, uh... My favorite game and my favorite Link would probably be Majora's Mask. Just because there, there's a lot of, like, little character moments in that game. 
He just ego go through all goes through all the stuff with Andre and Cafe. He has the uh Majora Link is a people person. He goes around and he helps people, and he, he learns a lot about people and about himself. He does a little, like, salute. He salutes skeletons. That was cool when he saluted the skeleton. I like that. Is there a bird statue around here? I just, I walked right past it. Wind Waker Link is kind of just a goofball. Usually people point to his design when they pick their favorite Link. Eh. Design doesn't change that much. He's got that, like, really androgynous big lips thing going from uh, Sky from Twilight Princess on. I don't like that about uh, Twilight, Skyward, and uh, even a little bit Breath of the Wild Link. Even if we're talking visual design, then yeah, it's still probably, uh, probably Majora. CDI Link is my favorite. What am I doing here? Oh, well, I, I should probably at least see if there's like, uh, there's like era, there's quivers on sale. What do you have to say? Hero. Oh, that's right, his is like sister or whatever is on the colorful island. Except we went to the only colorful island and there was nothing there but a sad clown. So I, I think he's misinformed about his sister. How many rupees? 806 rupees. Was there anything I could get for that? I need 1,200 for the next uh, pocket size increase. Yes, quiver. How many pockets do I have now? I have all my pockets filled. Was it 1,200 for another? No. No, the third one is 1,200. I only have one pocket size increase. I, I can buy another one. Beetle! Ring my bell! Ring my bell! Grab it. Grab the ball, Link. All right, I'm gonna buy another pocket thing, and then I'm gonna buy a better quiver bag. What is this again? Oh, that's the stupid bug metal. No, I don't want your bug metal. I don't. I don't care that much about bugs. Uh, I could make a, a fair amount of profit selling bugs to that dude. Strange, strange little man. I wish I could just sell bugs to him, just how whatever bugs I have. Unfortunately, I have to wait until he wants certain bugs, and that changes every night. I need it! I have to pedal extra hard with you up here. Then you have the gall to leave without buying anything? Well, tech, I did buy something and then I left and came back up. I guess we really hadn't seen that before. We must have bought something every previous time that we were there. All right, quiver. I'll take it. Oh, 
Only five, that's not a lot. Come to think of it, if I have, uh, if I have bows and arrows now, do I even need the, do I even need the, the slingshot? I don't have anything in storage, so I guess that's, I don't know why I came here. I want to upgrade. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I need... Uh, I'm one bird feather short of, of the best shield outside the, the Hylian one. Still don't have any hornet larva. Bow needs a number of things we don't have. Increased attack power. That would be nice. What about the quiver? Uh, three monster horns. Uh, do I want a bigger quiver or do I want a better shield? What does that? What does the better shield do? Just more durability. It already like restores its own durability, so I guess that's kind of redundant. I'll upgrade my quiver. It's cheaper anyway. I can't. I can't actually afford the the shield. As far as rupees go. Okay. He really does die. He sounds like the dude from Black Lagoon. I forget his name. There's spots in the in the in the Japanese dub where he'll just start start spouting English, and he goes, "Okay, everybody." What about the best quiver? Oh, I can almost get that. I need a couple more dusk relics. Well, fortunately, we're about to get those, so. I could do that, and I could come back and get an even better quiver. Because of the improvement to your sword, you can now use your dousing ability to locate treasure. All right. Great. Does that... Well, I, I guess what what treasures are lying on the ground? It's just like the dusk and dawn, the, the little yin yang tokens or whatever. Do I want any potion? I already have one potion. I have a potion. I have a fairy, so I'm, I'm good. All right, let's go to let's let's go to song. Song place. If you get dusk relics and are caught by a guardian, you will still have the dusk relics. That's good to know. Unfortunately, that means we lost the du the dusk relics that we collected. My uh, my first attempt. Because I didn't save after that, I just had to shut off the game. Should probably visit that, uh... Probably visit that bat dude, I wonder if he's got anything for me. We'll come back to Skyloft later. I got like six more of those crystals since the last time we spoke to him. I don't know what uh, what increments he works in. Since I'm pretty sure we're not gonna like see the end of that quest on stream. How does that pan out? Does, does he, like, actually become human, or does he, he realize, like, wait, I don't need to become something else to be accepted?
Yeah. No, I, 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 we're not going to finish a lot of these quests on stream. And I don't know that I'm going to continue. I, may, maybe I'll play more of this game after I finish it on stream. I don't know what I thought would happen if I just ran into that. I know I know how to access this place. He will be human. That's disappointing. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that message. All right, Fi is going to learn the uh, Din Song. Not to be confused with Dim Song. It's associated with the Triforce of Power, and therefore whatever is about to play will be the theme song of Ganondorf. Power is symbolized by having people under you. Yep, tell me your message from the goddess. Let me guess, I gotta go to a volcano, and I gotta collect the thingies, and then we have to go to... I, I don't know, we'll find out where the place we have to go, I guess. We need one more sacred gift. Make use of the power of these gifts. I bestow unto you another melody. Let it serve as a key to unlocking your final trial. It awaits you upon Elden Volcano. We don't ever really use these songs for anything except this one... These tears things. We get these little song sequences, but we don't really get to hear them in full until we actually, like, go play them at the place. Because, like, Fi's not singing along with this version. The song you just heard is called Din's Power. That's not, that's not a, a name of a song. Well, I guess, what was the other one? It was called, like, Neighbor's Wisdom or something? All right. Use this song of might to flex on your enemies. I should be able to weaponize the heart now. I want I want to strum it like Sheik and Hyrule Warriors and send like 20 dudes flying. Oh, that's going to be an annoying area to uh, do the, the tears trial in, isn't it? Because it's full of like slopes that I'll have to run up. That sounds fun. That sounds just wonderful. Let's go do that. <laughs> Slopes and lava. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with lava. I don't mind. They really had to implement, like, the seagull flight enemies from Wind Waker. That is really all these guys feel like. No, leave me alone. I'm not bothering you, I'm just trying to fly my bird. I like how they want you to uh, pay money for an amiibo to go between the ground and sky anytime. And even that wouldn't really speed things up that much. 
even if I had that amiibo, there would still not really be true tra fast travel in this game. Alright, what would be a good place to go? I guess the temple entrance, because that's like at the top of the slope. Yes, I, I know the deal, Fi. We've done this twice now. I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to messing with Moblins. Oh, that didn't work. They also mess with vocal blends on the show. It's a little bit of a misnomer. Don't take it too seriously. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Uh, where's our path down there? Do we have one? This looks safe. That wasn't safe. That's okay, second time's the charm. Right, back off. I'll use it. It's in the fiery place, isn't it? I bet the gift that we're gonna get is like a is similar to the water dragon scale. It's gonna be a charm that lets us withstand like intense heat. Yeah, here we are. Which, which statue is this? Volcano Ascent. Oh, I should have checked with the bug guy. See what bugs he was buying. I'll do that next time.
Once again, this doesn't seem like the most musically gifted version of Link. This is also a horrible song to have a harp to. <laughs> a lady's like doing a, a lovely singing number, and then Link is just playing along on the on this this Playmobil harp. Oh yeah, they're all over the slopes. Alright, Din's Silent Realm. It'll test my power. How come all these trials are supposed to be testing for different things by using the same task? You would think they would be, like, three fundamentally different types of trials. Uh... I don't see any- there's some. I'll just take a leisurely stroll up this hill. Hello, friend. Uh, I can't make that jump. However, oh, I can't hookshot either. Okay, there's a foot. There's a footpath. It's kind of like speedrunning, these sections. You have to think about routing, which you don't usually have to do in uh, these kinds of adventure games. I guess I get why people wouldn't like these. It, it, is, it does fundamentally change the game a little bit. Oh, it's a rope. I thought that was a ladder. Link is very good at grabbing things with his feet. Look at that. It is nice that they cut off some of the map so you know you don't have to look like everywhere. Uh, there's a tightrope over there. Great. How do I get over there? 
Where am I? Uh, hmm. I don't see the route to get to that one. This looks like it would be the route, but it's blocked off. And I've, I've dawdled a lot, so these things are probably just about to wake up. Oh, and this is a dead end. Alright, cool. Cool area. Let's go the other way. We, we need to find a new thing to get. Unfortunately for me, a lot of these things look to be in, like, uh, places that take some time to get to. Places you have to swing a rope on, or crawl on vines for. Also, a lot of dead ends. Alright, here they come. Is this whole area just cut off? I'm gonna have to run back across the bones. I'm being pursued by Great Bay Temple music. Wow. Got a dust token, at least. That was useful advice. It's not advice that I particularly need, but... Oh, this is like a safe area. I, I, I can come here to, like, freeze them momentarily whenever. That's good to know. Alright, well that one's readily accessible. What else is around here? That doesn't appear to go anywhere. I don't think I can go this way, because that, uh, that bridge is sealed. Let's see what's up here. This is the slopes area. hanging out up here. I can't blow that up. That has been fixed, I guess. Not being able to use items also thankfully limits the uh, areas you have access to. No, 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 no. You leave me alone. Ah! I thought I'd gotten away from it. I was, like, right next to it. That looked to be all that was in that area. Ooh, hello. And I can just, uh, go up this slope and grab another one. Hello. Don't mind me. Let's go up here. This is gonna this is gonna lead to slopes. I think this is the top of the series of branching slides. Oh no, the volcano is cool now. That's nice. Is that the bad water? That's the bad water. I don't want to touch that. Here we go. Ah, uh, no. No, 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 no. I saw that water. Now, 
I am, why do I have so little control over myself? I don't know why I can't slide very well. I had no problem with this slide before. Also, they have a, they have a dude like waiting at the bottom of the slope for you. That's just mean. No, I need to get back up quickly. Where's the quick return? Let's try this again. I want to go, like, to the far left, maybe. Yeah. I want to get up on the... Th th thank you! I don't know why it, it feels like le so much less controllable than the last time. Go right! Go right! Well, I got it. So that, that that worked out, sure. This is a little mean to include the slopes as a part of this. Well, not the slopes, but specifically this, like, branching slide part. Alright, right side. And I gotta check the path that, like, uh, goes across from right to left as well. Can I go back? No, I cannot. All right. Gotta go up the slope again. Still not as bad as tack. I'll bet I can actually collect all these things. All right, now I just gotta go the far right path. These definitely get sequentially harder. Like the the forest one was was a joke compared to these the, compared to this. Desert was annoying because it had spots that were just un difficult to traverse. Oh, hello. No. Bad water. And there's not even one here. Lovely. All right, where am I going next? There's a dusk thing down there. I would have liked to get that. I guess I won't. Uh, where else can I go? Oh, it's across the bone path. Were there six over there? No, it, that's across the bridge. That's not the way I can go. Uh, where was the bone path? I guess it must have been this way. Yeah, it's down here. Almost went into the lava. I'll break the bridge behind me, then they can't follow. Oh, there's this one out on the island that's a little bit of a pain, but it's closest, so I should probably do that. Yeah, grab it. There we go. 
did it. It fell on the lava. Goodbye. And that is how you kill the unkillable. Uh, let's see. The rope one is kind of a pain. Let's take care of that. I think Jack would be like most players. I think this is a section that he wouldn't like. In fact, I wonder how many people did like these sections, and how many just, like, tolerate them. How many do I have? Four left. Okay, one is over there. Back on the bone path, which I'll have to go that way again anyway. I still don't know how to get to that is the problem. That, that's the problematic one. I can see the... Oh, it's just a crawl hole. I'm blind. Okay, that was the problem. Old man can't see. I thought it was just walled off to me. Well, it would suck if uh, I, like, fell in the lava and that ended this whole trial. That would especially suck. Because it seems like it would be very easy to fall in the lava on this tightrope part. Alright, two to go. And we've seen where both of them are. They're both in this vicinity. This camera makes this harder. Stay steady, Dink. The uh, xylophone section of this part's music keeps making me think of somebody you used to know. <laughs> Alright, back the bone path. Where was that? Was that this way? No, it was the other way. I think. Was it this way? No, this is a dust token. I'm lost. Uh-oh. It was this way. Alright, here's the bone path. I just gotta cross there, I gotta get that last tier, and we're good. This is even better on the way back to the starting point. So th this was the best final one to get. See, I can route. I, I, I can think on the fly. Oh, hello. Hello. We su it'd suck to die right about now. Uh, it's just like that. Easy as pie. We have now made all three goddesses cry. We got the fire shield earrings. Alright. I gotta say, like, swimming like a fish and walking in a volcano are cool. I like the wisdom one. She, she knew what was up. Neighbor gave us the double claw shot. That seems like such an outlier compared to the other two. Alright, well that's that, and away we go into the most obvious place that it was, will be in the fiery volcano.
gotta be. Oh, hello. I don't have very many of you. Oh, not the... That. Where was the... Where was the... That. I think it was up the... It was up the slide. But you don't go down the slide. It's at the top of the slide is the volcano area. some dung beetle. Oh, I killed one. Hello, Fi. Look at this conspicuous area that we wandered into earlier. In fact, we're, we were required to come through here earlier. We had to, like, make a quick turn to go down the slide. Maybe we weren't required to go down the slide before. I don't remember. The only thing stopping us from going here in the past was Phi saying, We don't need to go here yet. We're now near the crater at the peak of Elden Volcano. Death Mountain? Sorry, it's not called that yet. Protecting it. It's hot! Thank you, Phi. She's like the kind of stupid member of the, of the Star Trek crew that you, you you get reports from anyway because you want her to feel you know helpful. Link is player one in this adventure, and Phi is the little sister whose controller isn't plugged in, but you're telling her that she's winning. Away. I lost my wooden shield to you. Alright. Bird statue. So I guess this is the... This is a dungeon area. Like, we, we don't need to douse anymore. I should have gone back to Skyloft before I came here. We'll have to go back before we do, like, the temple proper. Because this is like the pre-temple, if, if the previous instances are anything to go by. What are they spitting at me? Just, like, sludge? What is this? Uh, it's a good jumping spot. Some nice, there's a nice waterfall here. Is this gonna, is this relevant now or is this gonna be relevant later? I guess it'll be relevant later. Or it's just a shortcut back up here. So can I just, I, can I re-enter those trials whenever I want to? Is that how I can get more of the dusk things? <sighs> no, I don't want to use a bottle. I rumbled over here because I heard someone had spotted some goddess cubes in the area. I got a hunch they may be down in that direction, but this flaming wall of fire is blocking the way. 
It's fine, you're a rock type. It's not very effective. You're now able to use your dousing ability. Why do we keep unlocking arbitrary dousing targets? I just let me know all of them at once. Alright. Uh, what bottle are we gonna... I, I guess we should keep the revitalizing potion. How much does that refill? Probably more than a fairy. Go on. Fairy's nice life insurance, but... I knew, I knew when we saw that, that conspicuous pool of water, we were going to be required to use it for something. Why does this fire dungeon have, like, frog switches? What theme be this? Is this the frog dungeon? Are we in Amphibia? I haven't seen one of these in a while. Granted, we haven't been summoning them. Oh, I got a thing from that. Okay, there's a piece of heart near here. But we need to be able to burrow to get it? Are we going to get a, bur a burrowing item? Are we going to get another beetle upgrade? We can get, like, a digging beetle. <sighs> am I gonna have to... Am, how, how many times am I gonna do this? Am I gonna have to use both my bottles? No, 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 bad touch. I, I like having my potion, though. I don't want to have both of my bottles full of water all the time. Imagine if there wasn't a source of water immediately outside this dungeon. This would be so much more annoying. Link would have to go buy a bulk pack of De of Desani and come back here. Wait, no, I'm sorry. I can't even do it that this time. Okay. This is an ominous start to the dungeon. I don't like how this is going so far. Oh look, a third wall of fire. Can you go all the way outside again? Oh, well, we got a bird statue now. This does not feel like goddess cube stuff to me. I bet there's something super important hidden around here. That is a big frog with a big thirst. No, I don't... I don't think I have a big container, do I? Am I gonna get, like, a bottomless jug? Is, is that the item in this dungeon? No, we already have the, the full wheel of eight items. 
So we could get an item upgrade, but we're, we shouldn't get any, like, new items from here. Not new, like, item wheel items, anyway. We also have all four of, like, these treasure slots, so the only things we're missing are... One more song. What is this? I don't know what this is. This this hexagon. Hello. You just you just a little ledge? Is that all you are? Uh, are those switch crystals? Do I want to hit those? I see a few conspicuous things in the area. There's a link beacon. No, those are just those are just decorative crystals. Looking very spiral like those windows. Alright, I'm a man. I don't need to feed- I don't need to, like, water a frog. I can just tank this. Hmm. I hope I don't have to, like, leave and go elsewhere. To, like, find an item that I need to do this. Okay, there's a there's a conspicuous gap in this window. I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to do some claw shotting, I see. I don't like these things. No! Why's it gotta be on a tiny Dragon Ball Z pillar? I did the wrong button. Or the wrong direction. Okay, swing once, then it guards. Okay. I don't need to swing multiple times. It's just once and then it'll guard. That's better. I wish I knew that I could have the uh, horizontal, like, projectile slice earlier. That might have been useful on some enemies. Okay. Well, that was a goddess cube. Now what? That didn't solve my frog problem. Fine. What useless advice do you have for this situation? I, I don't even remember what thing I have to ask her to get advice, because she has so many, like, redundant... Redundant advice menus. Rumors? Has that always been there? <clears throat> Detect the sound of a waterfall from the passageway to the south. Yeah? No, I know there's water there. I've I've retrieved it several times. Well, if you're not going to be useful, how about you give me some juiceful, uh, some juicy gossip? Metals will grant you various beneficial effects as long as you carry them in your pouch. Oh, okay. So if I get the heart metal, I have to carry it in one of my pouch slots to have an extra heart. That's how metals work. I thought I could just stick it on my uniform like a Boy Scout. Uh, what items do I have? Definitely don't have anything that could be a bigger container than, uh, than a bottle.
Do you have any more hints for me? I really have to, like, go adventuring elsewhere to find such a thing. I just, I, I don't have the item I need, and I gotta do, like, a side quest for it or something. Uh... Do, do I gotta finish my business at the bar? Does the bar have a big container for me? This would be a great time for Phi to give me a hint about where to go. Well, I get, at least this is a reason to go back to Skyloft, because we needed to do that for the bigger quiver. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, I, there's someone I can ask when I have no idea. Hello, Mr. Fortune Teller. Yes. Please tell me what to do. I am blind. I need I need your vision, Mr. Sparrow. But it, so there's a sparrow, Sparrow? I don't know which, but, uh, so there's two Sparrow puns. There, there's Sparrow, Sparrot, and there's Pero. I, I don't know, I expected everyone to have, like, a unique bird. Water, water, nowhere, and so great the need. Yeah? You have already discovered the basin needed in order to carry the water. Do I need to ask the queen for her gamer bath water? I do. Okay. It even shows that it, it, it's, the, it's the thing that she was bathing in. Alright. Well, I never would have figured that out. Thank God the fortune teller exists. Uh, how many rupees for the, the quiver upgrade? I, I don't have enough. I'm gonna need to sell some stuff. A uh, hundred rupees. Alright. I'm gonna go sell some bugs. I'm gonna sell some bugs. I'm gonna get my quiver upgrade, and then I am going to get, uh... Gamer Queen Bathwater. No, don't parkour up the door, Link. I want you to go inside of it. Uh. Plop. Hello, bug man. Hey, what were you doing sleeping in my bed? It's kind of weird. Fair and Grasshopper, Skyloft Mantis, Lanayru Ant. I have two of those, I believe. Alright, 40 per. I have two of them. <laughs> I 
don't think I have Skyloft Mantis, do I? <laughs> I just sold him the Grasshopper. Yeah, okay. No, I don't have any Mantis. Maybe I had them and I sold them to him already. 20 rupees per ant. How many ants do I have? Seven. All right. <laughs> it's not a huge number of rupees, but it's enough. I'll need a, I only need 100. All right. See you in the morning. It's so fucking weird that he just does this. It's even weirder that no one seems to have a problem with it. Maybe they play pranks on Dink while he's sleeping. Maybe we wake up, we wake up and we have no idea what dumb shit they've done to us. They draw sh they draw stuff on our face, like wipe it off before we wake up. Got your money. Give me my quiver. <laughs> what do you want for the shield? Let me make sure I can't get both. Okay. So everyone does have pointy ears up here. So that was, I guess the default state of humans in this world. And then there came to be races with round ears. What if the Gerudo exists yet? Uh, I need one more bird feather and I need two more monster horns if I want the, the super shield. Probably could have been more, uh, I could have been more on the lookout for monster horns. Yeah, the, those uh, Boko blends on the pirate ship, I could have gotten some from. I just, I haven't been like, uh, I've been whipping. I'm gonna, I'm gonna visit Batman. I'm gonna see what he's up to. Maybe we'll get another item from him or something. Uh, graveyard. Ain't nobody got time for ladders. Batro sounds like a Dragon Quest character name. Is it every five, maybe? Gathered 30. Okay, so 5, 10, 30. That's quite a jump. Wait, why now? What changed? Okay, because we're the place that we spend gratitude crystals. I guess that makes sense. Fi's just forgetful. She she needs, like, a reminder to, to know what powers the sword has. Also, this dude's not really doing himself any favors. Like, I get that he's a demon, but does he have to hang skulls as decoration? Is that just part of being a demon? He wants to become human so that he can change his interior design sense that is uh, innate to being a demon. Is this its own map? No, it's not. It's still the Skyloft map. I wonder if this version has any performance issues compared to the Switch. I mean, compared to the Wii. Which sounds strange to say. There are, because of the, like, upscaled nature of the port, there are places where the uh, Twilight Princess HD on the Wii U, like, 
chugs a little bit compared to the original on GameCube and Wii. The port can be improved, but can still be poorly optimized. I also wonder if this would have looked better had I played it on the have I had I played the Wii version on Dolphin. Probably would have looked about the same. I don't know if they like replaced any textures in this re in this remaster or if they just upscaled everything. Cuz that's all the Dolphin would do is upscale everything. Where am I going? I want to go to the waterfall. Yeah. There's a lot of backtracking in this game. Truly, we are now a Metroidvania. What was that Igarashi said about being inspired by Zelda? Alright, there she is. Yeah, get underneath her. Let's get a close look at that tail. I, I guess she doesn't mind if Link just, like, hangs out down here. This is weird. It's weird that I can do this. Alright. Oh. Oh, you were smaller when you were in the- in the- in the basin. Hey, can I borrow this? Why do I want your bathtub? No reason. Hello? Are you mastering the power that dwells within your sword? You want to borrow my water basin? Yeah. A little reluctantly, but yes. Be gone with it! It's yours to use as you please! Transport the Water Dragon's base in the volcano. You'll need to enlist the service of that... Um, the robot? No, I don't like him. Unless you plan to carry the tub on your back, now is not the time to be picky. I, I could do it. I, I could carry it. You know who could carry it? Toon Link could carry this, no problem. He's, he's got the gauntlets. Even the robots that aren't pirates kinda look like pirates just because of the shape of their headpiece. Watch carefully while I demonstrate what a real hero looks like. This is my NTR fic. Can't believe we really had to come here. Hey, I know this seems weird, but I promise I'm not doing anything weird with this. Just, I want to be clear about that. Alright, let's get out of here. What information do you have for us? Oh, I, I get, like, I get stuff for summoning gossip zones. I, I guess I should be doing it. Oh, we're in the red. Goodbye, Twitch. Hello, YouTube. 
Are we back? I think we're back. Network must have dropped for a little bit there. Uh, Volcano, that's where we're going. I wasn't paying attention to how long we were gone. Oh, come on, he can fly faster than I can fall? Alright, I don't pick a landing, it just- it takes me where it needs to go. Wait, no, why are you bringing it here? We need to go to the- like, the temple. The summit? Yes, the summit. Is the Bokoblin gonna shoot the robot? This place is swarming with monsters. I bust up enemies like a junkyard wrecker. Too bad I've got my mitts full. Yeah, sure you do. <sighs> it can fly. There's no reason to be do- Why do we have an escort mission? This does not call for an escort mission. Also, all of this was because of a lack of communication. This is like a shitty tag-along kid anime plot. No! Alright, let me get my whip out, just in case there's any, like, monster horde, monster horn bokoblins. Oh. Well, I, I, I guess I don't have to walk the whole way, at least. The robot distracted me. Uh, okay. Uh. Stupid the thing was hiding behind the rock. go up from here? What? I thought it was in here, wasn't it? Uh, where are we? Robot, get out of the way! Like, back off, maybe? Or fly? Go higher? Away from the action? 
No? You're just gonna sit here at uh, attack level? I see. Man, you're the best escort mission. Hello, potato. Uh, volcano ascent. Where's our way up? I guess it's this way. What are these? Shadow bats? Those weren't normal keys, were they? The robot is a pain. Like, there was no reason- there's no reason in lore for us to be doing this. The robot just didn't want to fly up. Goodbye. Alright, another moblin. Ow! Oh, I thought he was done. No, his plop damages you. I wonder if this part is very buggy. Well, like, escort missions often introduce, a, like, a, a wide margin for bugs. It seems like it would be easy for the robot to get stuck somewhere. Be gone. I'm handling it. All right, now there's more Boca Blends up here. Oh no! No no no! no. Get up, Link. <laughs> that was a derpy fall animation. Okay, great. Yeah, awesome escort mission. Because the robot decided to hover in the place that would be most vulnerable to damage. <sighs> Do better this time. Fly up the mountain! At least the enemies don't respawn. Alright, final three. Hey, robot, be sure to, to hover in the place that is very easy for them to hit you. Very important to the mission that you do that.
All right, while we're here, this still isn't quite the place that we need to be. Uh... What is this? Thrill Digger? Uh... Volcano Summit. Okay, we need to go over this way. Shielding is probably a lot easier in the original version. Uh, nope, nope, please. Yeah, turn around. Face the other way. Attack the robot. He's confused. He doesn't know who to go for. For once, the robot actually helped. Can I just do this? We'll just eat a few of those. This seems effective. It'll work eventually. There he goes. He just stands there getting hit by arrows. Yes, he does. Did you, like, rewind the stream to when he died? He, d he wasn't even, like, it wasn't even arrows enemies that got him. Well, it was, but he also was sure to float as close to the, the Bokoblin with a club as possible. This dude goes out of his way to be in the attack radius of as many enemies as possible. Yeah, come down in, in the in range of the Lazalfos. It's not always one. Sometimes I do have to swing a few times for them to... I just... I wanted to pick up the tail! Ah, the tail despawned. Okay, now stay back. Do not... Pl please do not fly up to the lava fish. Okay. Are you good? he didn't fly directly into lava. It would be entirely within in character for him to do so. Yeah, pour the water on this. What if we brought the, the thing here and it, we do, didn't fill it with water?
All right, we can enter the temple now, yes? All right, <laughs> in we go with our three hearts. We got this. Hey, where's the where's where's the bathtub though? Is he taking it back? We're supposed to return that. What is going on with our with my network? Sorry if I keep dropping on and off. I keep seeing the, the little thing going red a couple times. All right, fire sanctuary. Not temple, sanctuary. Another very eastern looking temple. With owls. And what are these fruit? What are these spiky fruit everywhere? There's cacti in this dungeon. I'm gonna touch one. Nope. Never mind. The beetle cannot uh, cannot carry cacti. And you know what would be lovely right now? A goddess wall. What about an arrow? What do those do? Okay, I, I think I see what's going on. These contain water, and when they drop, they'll create a platform on the lava. that That's what we're doing. Hearts? Y'all got any hearts? Fairy. I need... Well, I... Yeah, I should have bottled that. Oh, well. Alright. And then it's gonna show us that we can also have moving ones. Uh, do we need to ride it further? Where is it going? The treasure chest up there. Yeah, we need to ride it further. Okay. You know what? I probably should beetle these. That'll save on ammo. I would have liked to get the faster beetle, but... Uh, we're not finding a lot of the materials that uh, Materials Man wants. Ow! God damn it! We get the bow and arrow and suddenly there's snipers everywhere. Okay, so we do have two lava dungeons. We had the we had the mines, and now we have this uh, fire temple sanctuary place. Do you have a monster horn? No. Okay. There we go. I never use the look button in this game. Oh, hello. We have a new mole man. We have gold. He looks like, uh... 
he looks like that Pokemon, Grimmsnarl. Don't scare me like that. I thought you were one of those monster creeps. Oh, hey, what's this? Got yourself a swanky pair of digging mitts, don't you? Who are you, anyway? Uh, I'm on a quest. I'll get you. Yeah, me? Name's Gold. I'm the big boss of the Mogmas. I invented the digging mitts. Okay. Yeah, you know, other Mogmas have said the same thing about me. What if what if Dink just told these people that uh, their race would cease to exist within like a hundred or thousand years or so? You will go extinct. It's a treasure digger. I gotta warn you to just turn around. I don't know why he's Ringo. That does not match the voice the game is making. Alright, tell me about your, your treasure hunting legend. <laughs> Ye who seek the entrance to the king's treasure look for the two statues that face one another. Jump into the mouth of the sleeping statue. Okay, thanks. Great. There's a race that's all about digging and treasure hunting, which is weirdly similar to a race in Wakfu. I think they're called Enestroph. I said similar to like dwarves. Dwarves are all about digging and and treasure, right? Hello. Okay, what kind of what kind of keys are you? Dark keys. Often gather in colonies or active at night and sleep in the day. Okay. Is there like anything special about them? Do they just have like different drops. No, they're just they're just dark. All right. Oh wait, no, no. I want your horn. Oh, I shouldn't have killed them. Man! Monster drops were so generous in Wind Waker. They're not generous in this game. I can't shoot first and ask questions later. Just, uh, just a cactus room? This room looks safe. Oh, there's, there's a giant, there's a giant lava friend in this room. Okay, sure. Why not? You know what? I'm used to being attacked by giant lava monsters. I'll accept a giant lava friend. That's refreshing. Okay. I, I need to... Where's the whip? That's what I want. There we go. That's two more horns. Which I believe means that I can now make the better shield. I think that's all I was missing.
Uh... Where can I go over there? Nowhere? I could claw shot over, but then what? Do I need to go higher? This is where I started, so there must have been a reason for me to, like, traverse this room. Is, is this not where I started? Maybe it's not. I'm gonna get improved digging mitts in this dungeon. That's gonna be the new item. The dungeon item. That's gonna let me burrow. Oh, hello. We got we got a super Lizalfos. I don't even like the regular ones of you. What are you? Dark Lizalfos. We're, we're doing the thing where every enemy has a dark variant. The creature's breath can cause a curse. I'll bet that's what dark keys are. If they hit me, I lose my sword. That's not fun. That was they're not too bad if you can like focus on one of them. When there's more than one of them, or when you're on top of a, a Dragon Ball Z pillar, that's when they become a problem. Uh Be gone. There's a rupee up there. Nope. Ah, uh, you're over there. I see you. Ah, uh, I want your horns, but I, I, you're gonna kill me, so I gotta snipe you. And there's keys, too. Somehow they didn't hit me. Oh, I got that one. Okay. Are you done? Uh, is there a ledge up there? I don't think there's a ledge up there. So if I go up here, I don't see anything that I could hook onto. Oh. No, this isn't moving. Okay, is there any way that I can get it moving? What's that up there? I see, like, a path. Is there a bomb flower in this room? I don't figure my beetle will last long enough to go along this whole path. Well, I guess it will. Oops. I can take a shortcut. I can just do this. 
Oh, it blows up on rupee contact, really? Why is that necessary? Well, the rupee survived. The rupee's still there. There we go. I'll get the rupees, because why not? If I did, like, carry each rupee back to me, this wouldn't be worth it. Alright, now that that's moving... I was worried we weren't going to get to the other dungeon. I was worried everything was going to take, like, longer than I anticipated, but, uh... Well, we'll get both today. And then some, maybe. I'm sorry, why Why is there a mole men suspended over lava? You can't break me with interrogation, son. You'll never make me talk! Cut the rope. Hmm, that's not the solution. How about this? No, he doesn't care about that. What a tough bastard. Oh, that's lava. Can I bomb lava? This seems like a bad idea. Didn't do anything. I'm glad the game prevents me from end all the tools of murder I have at my disposal. And by glad, I mean it sucks. Alright, small key. Oh, I bet I can cool them. Yeah. Well, I thought it would cool them. No, it just it like, gets rid of them completely. Why? There's so many things that on the ground I just need blown in this game. It's a little tedious doing this all the time. Maybe I can blow him. No, I don't think he likes that. I thought it would like I'd like swing him to shore. I could whip him. No. Grapple. But it's like they don't want me to save this guy. Well, I got a small key, so I got what I came for. See you later. Oh, they hurt. I, I guess I kind of figured they're cacti, but... You, you can handle cacti if you're careful. I should be able to, like, pick these up and take one with me.
Okay, there's another frog in this room. Why is everything in the fire temple thirsty? Well, I can't beetle these bugs, so I'm gonna have to, uh... Find another way to transport one of these to the frog. Scoop! Unless there's one just right above it. I need those. I'll take it. No, 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 no. Go away. I wonder if, in theory, one of these landing on a lava slime would kill it. Sometimes Zelda games have weird interactions like those. All right. New idea. Maybe I can't carry the cactus part, but if I get, like, the fruit on top, it'll work. Or if I cut the stem. No? This is too conspicuous to not be part of the puzzle. Uh, can I pluck it? Can I pick it from here? No? What items do I have? Claw shot, maybe. Uh, maybe I can claw shot the, uh... Oh. oh, not the not the blow, the the, the whip. That's what I wanted. I'm confused. It seems like the obvious thing to do would be to get one of these things above the frog, and this circle spot seems like really conspicuous. to hit or transport this thing through, but no, that doesn't appear to be the case. Hi. Useless information check. What advice do you have? This is the fire sanctuary. Water fruit that hangs from the ceiling may be useful. Beetle or gust bellows. Well, we haven't used- well, the gust bellows have been useful on the stuff on the floor, but... Beetle hasn't done shit. No? It can't even, like, cut the- it can't even cut the vine. Okay. What if I'm standing under it when the beetle hits it? Will Link catch the thing, or will he just get wet? Beetle, please. No! I hit it! I 
don't think this is the solution anyway, but... I'd like for it to do the thing I expect it to do when I hit it. Can it, it just won't drop when Link is below? No, Link just gets wet. <laughs> that That's all that happens. All right. Uh, well, it looked like there was something up over this way. What's over here? Is more fruit? nothing up there. Do I need to help the mole before I do this? Because it didn't seem like anything I was doing was helping the mole. Maybe if I maybe the if I'm right and the if the item of this dungeon is improved digging mitts, maybe like better mitts will let me pick up and carry the fruit. And maybe saving this guy will let me get the things. But how do I do that? Uh, don't think the beetle will help him, but no, just that just kind of bonked him. I tried the whip, gust bellows. Can I blow the lava? Well, I can. It just doesn't really do anything. Is there anything the beetle can do? Maybe I can send it through the door. Maybe that will do something for me. No, this door goes nowhere. There's no fruit in this room to get. Can I shoot like an arrow through anywhere? Uh... Hello. Are you, friend? That hand looked kind of menacing. <laughs> Bombs wouldn't help. I already tried arrows. I'm stuck again. Nothing more I can do in this room, is there? As far as I can tell, I already solved all the puzzle in this room. The rupees respawn, that's nice.
this just goes back to the place that I uh, fought the Lazalfos. So that's not helpful. That looks like a shortcut for later. I can't imagine there's something this far back that I missed. It has to be something to do with either the Hanging Mole or the... Uh, go back to the room which you're stuck at. I, I don't know which of one that is. It's either the one with the Hanging Mole or the one with the, uh, the Water Fruit and the Frog. One with the frog. You know what I'm doing in there? What do you have to say about these? Feature is vital to its survival. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's fascinating. Do you have anything useful, Fry? Okay. I am in front of the frog. Well, I, okay. I, I know what you mean. I am up in front of the frog. Yeah, I saw that. It was very conspicuous. I tried everything in my arsenal to interact with this this spot. Yeah, what about that circle? I fired an arrow through it. I fired the beetle. Nothing about this circle was, like, interactable. You can apparently poke it. Okay. Well, I wish I had, uh... Yeah, I don't know if I would have ever figured that out. So it has to be a thrust specifically. Y'all got any horns? I guess I, I don't need horns that badly anymore, but uh, oh, they're good to have. No, no horns, no horns. All right. You know, it would be great if uh, the assistant who had, like, a thousand text boxes, a thousand different options of advice to give, like, suggested that I could, I could carry them with a stab in any of those text boxes. That'd be lovely. It's mind-blowing to me that they can have an, a, like, an assistant in this game that has the most possible things you can ask her, and is also the least useful assistant in any Zelda game. Okay. Okay, so they're not friendly hands. These are bad touch hands. I assume. I, I don't want to touch them and find out for sure. But, uh... Can I blow them? That didn't work. Why has it got to be two of them? Oh, 
Okay. Hands. I'm ready for you. Nope, blowing is ineffective. Uh... Is there, is there fruit on the ceiling? No. Unsurprisingly, arrows did not hurt lava. I'm about to die. See, I thought the fruit on the other side of the hole, and I figured I had to, like, pick it up with a beetle, or maybe fire an arrow through it, and that would, like, propel the, fr the fruit to where I wanted it to go. Uh... There we go. Ah, I missed my chance. All right, so I can get fruit. Which I'm trying to propel, there we go. No, get out of the way, please. Fine, what do you have to say? Yeah, I know my hearts have decreased. I'm asking about an enemy. Magmanos. Hand-shaped monster dwells in fiery lava. Lot is made up of flowing magma. It is invulnerable to most attacks. Okay, well, that's one down. What is on top of the other rock place? I can't outrun it. I have to, like, run and roll if I want to do that. How exactly did that mole get into that situation? Did the lava hands put him up there? Grab the thing, Link. You can do it! Why he no grab? Alright. Alright, I have saved Silva. I owe you big time! Are you looking for treasure too? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can see it on your face. You're here because of that legend of the sleeping statue, right? Oh yeah, I did hear something about that. Can't use those digging mitts for treasure hunting. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a replacement pair for my secret stash. What's under his butt? I did not see what's under his butt. And now his butt is underground, so I guess we'll never know. Alright, we now have super digging mitts. We, we can now burrow through holes. But only certain holes. Magma mitts.
I don't feel comfortable burrowing around in the, in the in a temple that's full of like lava everywhere. Wait, no, I wanted to check the other one first. Go back. Oh, also, there's like a whole Metal Gear Solid digging area. I got to go through, I guess. All right. Let's go a burrowing in the Sinnoh underground. Oh, this is going to be tedious, isn't it? Press ZL to see above ground. Okay. Magical. Plenty of treasure down here. I can appreciate that. I thought attacking the bomb would be a bad idea. I guess it worked out fine. Also, with nowhere to, like, bounce, he just had to tank that. I think we saw two, like, diggable holes before we came here. There was one in the, uh... Where were they? I remember one of them was near a gossip stone in the volcano area. It said something about a heart piece. Yeah, I would not look at, like, down here and want to bur want to burrow anywhere near this. This sounds like a terrible idea. Where are we? Is this a new room? I guess this is the- this is the magma room. This is where- this is where the boss was. Okay, this is the one we we're already in. Where's the other one? Another relatively forgettable temple track. doesn't appear to help me in the current situation. Maybe it'll help in the future. Oh no, it opened this way. Have I been this way? I have. Where, where was this? This was the bridge, then the bridge is now out. No, this is a different bridge. Okay. Alright, shortcut. I knew it was a shortcut. So, Apollo. After I finish this dungeon, how many hours of the game would you estimate are left? I'm under the assumption that there's one final dungeon and then, like, end game stuff. I should probably be, like, taking these guys out before I come this way. Oh, he's got a horn. I want that. God damn it. Shit. 
Okay. There's one more I didn't see, but I heard him. Uh, why are there why are there mole men like suspended in the air everywhere? Who who is capturing mole men in this dungeon? You think like the the goddess sword, the equivalent of the master sword, is like super important, ancient, powerful weapon. Been enchanted now by t two goddesses. Would uh, be able to cut a plain iron chain, but no. No, it can't. After this, maybe three to four hours. Okay. If there's that much left, I will probably try to finish this tomorrow. I think that will be my plan. I don't like using the sticks as much as this game, like, makes me use them. I think rolling and shielding would both be a lot more intuitive using the motion controls. Uh, did I want to do that? I don't think I wanted to do that. I have to get the top one first. like that heart noise? I know you Zelda fans love that heart noise. Uh, was that helpful? Or did I- am I still trapped? No, I'm good. What do I think of the left? No, there's nothing over here. Dun 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 You can sprint underground? Ah, that's good to know. Wait, did I not do it? Oh no, I opened the gates. Okay, I thought I was looking for another exit down there. Let me waggle my fruit. Whoops! Too much waggling. No! I did like an upward sword swing, but I guess that was not the correct motion. Maybe if I jump. No, jumping is not correct either. Do I need to, like, aim? and do it. Yeah. Just need to Z-target. I don't care that the Z-button doesn't exist anymore. It's always going to be Z-targeting to me. What is this? Why is there... Oh, that's... I thought that was a chest, like, half buried in the ground. This mole man looks like he doesn't get enough sleep. This uh, bronzy, be bronzy buddy fella. Really think I would divulge super secret info about treasure? My mama didn't raise no Patsy! Uh, yes. I'm, I'm his boss. That means I'm your boss. Yeah, that's better. So here's some super secret info that I put together. Took some real sweat and work, too. 
Ready for this? Don't go fainting! There's a hidden room. Link remains silent. Dink isn't very good at making friends on the surface. One of my guys was giving you a hard time. Sorry about that. That stuff he was saying was all true. There's a breeze coming. Figure the information in that information. You you mean a dungeon map? Y'all are playing this up like this was gonna be like a huge thing. It's 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 the dungeon map. Every place has one. I, I guess it's useful. In rooms with like fake walls and such. Okay. It's a hidden route. We're back to the tunnels. There's a tunneling. After the game, there's hero mode. That's existed for a while in, in Zelda games. I forget which was the... Wind Waker had new game, was the first one to have new game plus. Other than, like, Ma Master Quest doesn't count. That's like, uh... That's a little different. I think Wind Waker's uh, New Game Plus was harder in difficulty. Then Twilight Princess had a hero mode. I don't remember the details of uh, unlocking it or how you played on it. Uh, hidden room. There's a hidden room down there. By the looks of it. The mole made it sound like there was a hidden room, like, accessible down here. I have been down here before, haven't I? This is not a new tunnel, because this looks new. I don't recognize these gates. No, this is the one that I was in before. It's just, it's rotated this time. I don't know if I can rotate the camera down here. I don't know why it's different this time as opposed to the last time. Alright, hidden room. That's the- this is the room with the fake wall, because I see it on the map. I hope we didn't miss anything important in that, like, uh, lava room. Looked like there was a chest that we didn't get in there. Oh boy, here we go. Hello, Darian. Why would you be surprised? No, I said we're gonna get through these dungeons today. And by the sound of it, I should be able to finish up uh, tomorrow. Think we might as well wrap up the dungeon. I mean, yeah, why not? This is a weird part of the game. Whoop! Ow.
might be a lengthy stream. Apollo thinks that after this dungeon, I have like three to four hours left. I don't, maybe you know me better. Maybe it, maybe it will take longer than that. I'm under the assumption that it's uh, one final dungeon and then the end game stuff. Or probably some build up to the final dungeon, as we've had before these several dungeons. Give me hearts! You know what? I got a potion. I haven't used this, like, ever. That barely did anything. That was mostly for the shield, and I now have a shield that restores itself, so, uh... That was a poor choice of potion to be carrying around. What did I just come back here for? No, I didn't want to come back. I guess. No, I got the... A small key, I guess, is all I needed to get. Alright. Uh... So where can we go from here? There's a locked door there. I don't know if I had access to that room and just missed it. Is the only thing I'm worried about, but, uh... We seem like we're on track. I don't think I need to go back. Where am I? Where's the exit? No, face this. Stop! Flick back! Is, uh, is Sunday good to finish the randomizer, Darian? It might, it might be a little later in the day, because Jack, uh... Jack sounds like he's doing something with his parents this weekend. But he should be back in the in the afternoon Sunday. Hello, TSL Tris. Welcome to the stream. All right, where are we going from here? Oh, there are there two lava rooms. There are two lava rooms. I see. Is that a chest we have? No, we got that chest. These dungeons are pretty elaborate, but I don't think they're... I don't think they're quite as long as Twilight Princess dungeons. Those ones felt like they dragged on a lot. I don't know, I guess they're about the same length. Imagine they got really, really gimmicky with the Switch. Like, they get they got really gimmicky with the Wii at times. Imagine they had game functions that uh, were, like, contingent on where you were. Like, they went full-on Pokemon Go, and they expected you to take your Switch out and about. They did that with the 3DS, come to think of it. There was a lot of, like, uh... What was it called? Pass play or something? Street pass. Which I guess is fine on a dedicated, like, small handheld console like the 3DS, because you are kind of expected to take it with you. A lot of people, myself included, just, like, never take their Switch out of the house, though. It might as well just be, like, a console. Console. I might be more inclined to if it were either smaller or had working controllers, but unfortunately it does not. No, not the bat! Be gone, bat! Thank you. I wanted your horn.
All right, what all is in this room? I wish I could, like, tell that it was a tunnel before I went down. I like to clear out a room before I resort to tunneling. What's this? Oh, this is a tunnel spot. Yeah, it's too conspicuous not to be a tunnel spot. This link definitely has the, uh... This particular link has the distinction of being the most maneuverable in tight spaces. It's not much of a claim to fame, but, uh, you know, it's something the other, other links haven't got. Uh... Okay. Hello? Yeah! A green monster! I can't believe they're following us down here now! Guess I can have some fun with them for now, though! Eh, you're on magma turf now, fiend! As long as the way ahead of me is clear, you'll never catch me! Why, why, why does Nintendo like to do this? Well, yeah, Nintendo, th th this has been a thing in, uh, in a lot of Pokemon games. Having to guide Pokemon around like a multiple maze path like this. <laughs> Why does he sound like Marge Simpson? Boil me, bake me, do your worst! I know those gloves. Ain't those from my brother's secret collection? Yeah, they're mine now. I ate your brother. I'm just gonna tell a different lie to every one of these guys. Let me give you something good. Oh, they're generous little mole people, I appreciate that. Okay, see you later. Man, the squid people didn't talk to me nearly this much. We're seeing these guys way more. We spent some time with the Kikwis. We, we spent a total of like five minutes talking to the squid people. I think they were happy to be rid of me. Oh, well, there's the fire. Nice that that's on the map. Go, get out of here. I'll save ammo. I used my slingshot. I haven't used that in a while. Look, it's a scatter shot. All right, new new spot. I saw a button. I hope that's a shortcut button. Yeah, shortcut button. And it looked like there's another tunnel spot. What else is up here? Have I been up here? This looks like a room that I've been to before. I'll bet there's another centipede down here. Imagine Link crawling military style in these tiny little tunnels, pitch black, he finds a melon, he just grabs it, and he scarfs it down. This is a very solid snake mental image. Uh-oh. 
This is like when you place a bomb that you really shouldn't have placed in Bomberman. This is fucking terrifying. That, that, that little section would give Jack nightmares. Colonel, we managed to avoid burning. Alright, uh, can I get down from here? Yes, I can. There's like a door. I like doors. Doors are convenient. Alright, we still need to find the boss key. We haven't found that yet. I have been over there, right? Yeah, that goes to the bird statue. Uh... I assume that goes to a bird. I've been there. Yeah, I was just in that room. Link is very comfortable on lava. Some might say too comfortable. A uh, bridge of decision. You can use the claw shot to open the water plants. I know. I can also use the beetle. There's a few things that I can do. Will you do the thunder dragon challenges? I don't know what those are. What are they? Should I do them? I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible, so it's, if it's uh, probably, probably not, is the answer. I am uh, pretty much blind to this game. I've never played it or seen it played before. Some boss battles have the Hylian shield. Okay, th those were mentioned. I was kind of curious, but I now nah, I don't think I don't think I will. An infinite shield does sound cool, but uh, I'd, I'd rather get through this quickly. And you know, the divine shield is already pretty good. In fact, we can upgrade it to the uh, best version of it pretty soon. This is, uh... Yeah, I'm supposed to jump into the sleeping statue, but... Before we make a potentially suicidal decision, let, let me make sure that I've done everything on this, on this path. Because I still see unexplored rooms. Okay, now I, I guess I can't go this way. I see. Well, given that I was told to jump into the sleeping statue, even if I didn't know that, it seems kind of obvious there'd be a tunnel going this way, so. Do a quick save. Do you want to know how I got the Hylian shield? Was it not by doing the dragon challenges? Did, did you do it some other way? Alright. Geronimo! No, Link, please. I know you're scared. You gotta jump. It's the only way. Like magic! <laughs> I probably should have done the done the sale. I got I got kind of scared and forgot about it. Does this dude ever buy goddess butterflies? Am I going to be able to sell these things? Are they supposed to be like rare and valuable? Come to me. Butterfly. This is how you catch butterflies. I am very skilled at this.
had to fight eight bosses in a row. Eh, that's, that sounds a little time-consuming. I don't think I need to do that. I also don't really need to do this, but uh, you know what? Actually, I'm not in terrible need of hearts, but let's try, let's try this. It's a ruble. Wow. Oh, it's our first silver rupee. No, it's not. I know we've gotten silver rupees before. Did we, uh... Did I die? Did I shut off the game without saving after that? Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of the butterflies, Apollo. Whoops. No, get just one at a time, please. Did you drop anything? I want your tails. There it is. Is that a special kind of tail? Wish I could get Hylian Shield earlier in the game, because when I got it, it was super late. Yeah. It's kind of the problem with a lot of those kinds of, uh those kinds of rewards. It's cool, but by the time you get it, there's nothing in the game left to do. I imagine the boss rush is like the hardest part of the game, so after that, what do you need a shield for? It has occurred to me just how much of this game I've forgotten since I last played it a decade ago. What are, uh, what are some examples of things that you have seen and had forgotten about in this run, Darian? This is such a normal temple after the last one. The last dungeon we were in was a was a pirate ship on a desert that could be like taken back and forth through time. Now we're just in a plain old fire temple. This is so mundane by comparison to the last chapter. Oh boy. I know what kind of room this is. This is a room that's gonna fill with lava. It's so obvious. Get out of here, dumb bats. Butterfly master. Away! I kind of wish I knew that these had, like, other things in them a long time ago. I, I would have gotten so many rupees from these. I'm an artist. <laughs> I, m I must have not done very well. They didn't give me as much that time. Forgot about the whole revisiting areas thing. I didn't think the desert was like that much longer than the other sections. It, it just kind of feels like every chapter of this game has been longer than the previous one. No, 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 no. Bad bats. We haven't been cursed yet. I appreciate that. Also, amazed this room has not yet filled with lava. It's coming. Maybe when we get to the top. Oh, hello. What is this room? 
Are those Armos? Those look like Armos. Bring light to each statue in accordance with the number of wings each possesses from least to most. See, this just, this is kind of the opposite. This just spells out what I'm doing. How come the, how come the door with the, like the weird numbered, like the, 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 the steer, the pirate ship steering wheels. How come that couldn't be so straightforward? Oh, okay. I see now. This is an underground thing. All right. Uh, hmm. Did I screw this up already? How am I going to get the, to the two one? Okay, I see. Ow. Link just eats shit. Anytime he's underground near a bomb. And then this will release the centipede, and I will have to fight the centipede. That looks like the boss key chest, which we got to that awful fast, at least. Yep, go on. Uh-oh. Whoops. Oh, I get it to run into walls. Okay. Link, crawl faster. Solid Snake would have dealt with that thing in seconds flat. Dun, dun, da, da, da. Any y'all getting the Metal Gear collection? I won't. I, I like the I like the I like to watch people play the series. It's not my kind of series, but uh, I'm glad that people that people who might have been interested will have the chance to play it. It's not really my gameplay, but the writing is full of like crazy JoJo bullshit in Metal Gear Solid. The three series that try to take them, that kind of act like they take themselves seriously, despite having just utter nonsense in them, are, uh, I want to say Jojo, Baki the Grappler, and Metal Gear Solid. Those are the top three that do that. Oh, hello. Do I want you? I have... No, I used my fairy. I do want you. I'm in the market for a new fairy. I had to empty my bottles to, like, get water for magic frog statues. Alright, where are we going? We got our key. Heading back this way. recently gotten Devil May Cry. How, my, how many of those have you uh, have you played? How far along are you?
pretty much all of them. Now you gotta watch the anime. I guess you were kind of prepared for at least the first Devil, Devil May Cry since you played Resident Evil before. <laughs> Hello, Girahim. I remember when I fought you. You were kind of a pushover. Hello there, Dink. I see you're still among the living. Yeah? Seem to bump into each other time and time again. Oh, it's no coincidence, though, is it? We're bound by a thread of fate. Don't say that. What color thread? It's not a red thread. No. Also, how do you know about- that's like, uh, that's like a Japanese thing. Is this Japan? I thought this was ancient, like, ambiguous precursor era. Till I found these, I was upset about that little stunt the goddess's guard dog pulled at the gate of time. What was that twig's name again? Impa? <laughs> yeah, yeah, call her a twig. Fuck that lady. I agree. We can bond over this, Girahim. Never mind that. These drawings suggest the distant existence of a second gate of time. This news has just filled my heart with rainbows. I've been a busy boy, searching here and there and everywhere for another gate of time. He's so theatrical, look at him. He's like a Jojo. We were just talking about him. Couldn't find a single clue. I know I can be honest with you. I'll admit I got a little sulky. It was frowns all around. Thought of never getting my hands on that darling young girl again was more than I could bear. <laughs> then, I found this place. The prospect of a second gate of time has made me positively giggly. <laughs> that girl, your adorable friend, she will be instrumental in bringing about the revival of my master. Though I feared she was now quite beyond my reach, I despair no longer. Before we talk any further on that subject, there's still the outstanding matter of your punishment, Dink. You remember when I told you that the next time we met, I'd make your ears bleed from the sound of your own screams? Not in those exact words. I've been thinking. Perhaps corporal punishment is a touch harsh. Uh, that, that... Again, weird term to be using in, in ancient past. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, well, how, how would I know? No one tells me anything. I know that you know, so why not let me in on the fun? I, know, I don't know. Link, tell... Oh, wait, you're mute. Such behavior, a mischievous boy like you needs to be dealt with firmly. I must warn you, I won't go easy this time. I feel like we're supposed to be more intimidated by this guy than, than I am. You'll find the supple skin of my arms tougher than I- you see what I mean? Could be worse. At least he's not a fucking robot. I've pretty much got it all. There is one teensy tiny thing I lack. Mercy. Okay. It's a good good voice clip. Oh, we're destined to fight. That's the thread you made. Okay, I'm I'm so glad. Okay, yeah, I'll fight you. Ow. Cut it out. Don't throw stuff. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. I got to do the thing where, like, I, uh... Now, can I shield these back? What can I do with these? I don't, I don't have the reaction time to shield them. Fi, any thoughts? Hear him is the demon lord leading the monsters. He displays superior mental and physical prowess, as well as expert command of magic. Though possessing some gentleman-like qualities, he will devolve to his true nature when enraged. When enraged. What, analysis? What did she say? When I have more information to report, your sword will flash. When you require information about your equipment or surroundings, please connect. Okay. We're at this point in the game and she's giving me tutorials about how to how to ask her for shit. Okay, well that didn't work. I, I think I heard his hand a little bit earlier. I wonder if I can, like, slice these back. The shield didn't do... Okay, I can. The shield didn't do anything. I think I'm damaging him. His, his supple arms appear to be, like, making the hit noise. Come on. I can two who all day. Go on. Oh, okay, I, I see. No, 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 no. Bad touch, bad touch. Let go. Why? I keep thinking I know what to do, and then I, I don't. So I swing right. I swing low. And I swing high, and he catches it. No, he caught that one. I don't know when he catches it. Right. Left. Low. High. Okay. Oh. Uh... Okay, now now we now we get sword form. Now now we're doing now we're doing it. This actually seems easier than the last form. Maybe not. Maybe I spoke too soon. I'll list lazily to let to the left. Ow. Did he just aura? I'll claw shot him! No, he, he didn't care about that. Maybe the scatter shot. He can't possibly dodge that. I can't believe he dodged the scatter shot. Well, after cutting him several times, I do have to admit his arms are very supple. He's evil, but he's no liar. Go down already. Knowing what gear him is, more or less, I, it does. I guess it does suggest that like sword spirits have physical form. They're not like just ghosts that you'll go through. All right, there you go. 
Enough of this. I am Girahim, demon lord. Shouldn't matter how powerful your sword is. You are still nothing. That's just a human, a human child. Yeah, I guess I'm a 17 or something. How old are you? <laughs> I got some questions, Girahim. Are we done? You leaving? Oh, okay. What was the last boss? I, I think the sword, the the sword Buddha was harder. Maybe not. I make fun, but that was an interesting fight. I think Girahim was one of the things that was at the. Uh, there's a 2011 E3 was showing off Skyward Sword. Which way did I... I came in that way. I should probably be able to tell by the glowing door which way to go. Alright, well, I'll have all three flames, and I guess I'm at Fi's mercy what we're doing next, because we haven't really been told... I assume we're gonna find the la the other like gate of time gate of time or something, and then uh, probably go through a temple to uh, go through that. Go save Zelda or something. The evil Impa has kidnapped her. Hello, Fi. It is time once again to set you on fire. We went from like six viewers down to one. Did, did everyone hate my gear him that much? Fully awakened goddess sword. Din has given it the uh, the master sword blessing. But it's playing the it's playing the music and everything. I don't know if this becomes a master sword or if this is forever just a completely different sword. But we got the, uh, we, we got, like, the whole Triforce now, I think. So that's pretty cool. Other Link's never pulled that off. Now that it has been tempered by the last of the Sacred Flames, your blade has finally revealed its true form. You now hold the Master Sword. Cool. With the sword's great power, you can awaken the Gate of Time within the Sealed Temple. I recommend you make your way to this location. Sealed temple. Oh, the the where where the old lady is. Okay. Well, let me save. Let me go back to Skyloft and then I think I will uh I'll stop there. Actually, I might as well get my uh might as well get my final shield before I forget. Yeah. Whoa! Where are we going, bird? Oh, it freaked out. It didn't like that.
What is this? Do people come out here? It's just like, it's just a bunch of, like, quilts on the ground. Is this, is this like a bazaar on Sundays? I guess they're in a few places. Alright. Give me your best shield. Oh, I need one more bird feather. You know what? Fine. I will go get one more bird feather and I will come back here because I want that shield. I hope going to the, uh... Oh, going to the sealed grounds is probably gonna, like, summon the imprisoned again, isn't it? Is there any other places I can I can reliably get birds? It's just like it's just the most convenient place. If I have to fight him again this stream, I will. It, it sounded like I was going to fight him a bunch of times, and so far I've only fought the Imprisoned once. Uh, behind the temple. I just, I just want to catch a bird. That's all I want to do here. I don't, I don't want to do anything else yet. Some, uh, some dudes around. Oh, they're gonna keep the birds from appearing, aren't they? Uh, you guys need to go. You're scaring the birds. I wonder if I got an attack out increase again. Oh, those are butterflies. supposed to be something here? No? Alright. Uh, birds. Birds? Ah, uh, they used to always be here. There's some in the woods. Anywhere there would have been birds, there's now monsters. I blame Gear him for this. I finally have a reason to hate him. There's some birds. Birds. Just need one. I think. I don't think I need two. I'll get to just in case. No, oh, it's too fast.
I know this is the most exciting part of the stream. Bird hunting is just the best. Okay, you... You guys need to go. You guys are scaring the birds now. There you go. Eat up. Oh, come on! No, stay put. Stay on the ground. Alright, got two. Uh, where's a bird statue? We're not gonna get the Hylian shield, but we're gonna get the next best thing. There you are. All right, for real this time. Give me your best shield. Okay. It's the goddess shield. We got the Master Sword and the Goddess Shield. We are set. We are equipped. That's kind of a pointless upgrade because these, like, shields heal themselves, so... You never really run them low on durability anyway, but... I, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy to have the best one. I feel complete. Just waggle my sword around in celebration a little bit. Hey, Fledge. What have you been up to? Nothing new? I see. Hey, you live an uneventful life. Was it 25 hours so far? I guess, yeah, that makes sense. We played five days. So, 25 hours and... Hopefully, it sounds like if we uh, do another four or five hours tomorrow, we can actually finish this. So I'm going to say that's the plan. That's it for today, though. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back probably same time, maybe a little later tomorrow. We'll see. I might do it in the, in the afternoon. But uh, however it goes... I do plan to stream as long as it takes to finish this tomorrow, and then we'll be back on Sunday to finish the Zelda Randomizer, the Ocarina and Majora Combination Randomizer, which that'll be a short stream. Thanks again for joining, and I'll see you next time.